Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see querying the Azure SQL database. In the last video we created the Azure SQL database and in this video we are going to query the Azure SQL database. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and this is the database that uh, we created. So if you see this query editor which is still under preview on the Azure portal when you click on to the Azure SQL database and if you do not see your resource you can go on to the home you can uh, either search for your resource group here or you can search for uh, all resources by clicking on here and you would see your uh, database and then you can click on query editor right so now it gives us a an option to log on to SQL Server authentic using SQL Server authentication uh, via Azure portal, right? So, if you have SQL Server Management Studio installed on your uh, laptop, you can do it. And uh, if you do not have it, then you can enter the here. So it says that you cannot open server this by this IP. This is my public IP, right? So, to do this, I would have to go to my, to the server firewall. So, you click on here, you go to the server, right, you can click on show firewall settings and this is your client IP that is you can click on here add client IP and this would be added here right if you do not know if you don't want to do this way you can go to your database you can see there set server firewall you click click on this option it will take you to the same screen on which we were earlier so you click on add client IP your IP would be added start IP end IP and do not forget to click on save that is how you'll get a notification that it is updating your server firewall rules and if you want to add more client ip you want if you want to give this access through a public endpoint if you want to access it from any other laptop on a public network then you can add that client ip as well so i've added my client ip if i want to uh, give my friend access to this database to query it to do a lab he i would have to add his client ip as well okay now that is done if i go back to my database again i go on to query editor again i enter my password hmm Okay, the password, the caps lock was on. That is what it was asking. It was saying that it's the wrong password. So now I have been connected to my database. And now you can, uh, and this is my database. So this is the table. Remember, I created a sample database on which I have all these databases. So if I want to query, I will do select top this is the example query that i'm writing right select top 20 pc dot name you can find these uh, on the microsoft documentation category name I would get product name as product name. If I run this, could not be the one, P dot M could not be fined. Okay. Let me copy and paste. 